Praise the Lord. This is a wonderful day that the Lord has given unto us. Another Sunday that we are going to be in his presence to learn from him. Welcome everybody. Hope you are ready with your notebook, a Bible, and a pen, because the Lord is going to minister to us. And before we start, I am with Victoria Penda. And my name is Teacher Gradis. And before we start our lesson, we could like us to pray. Let us pray and I ask Victoria to pray for us. Okay. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. God has and protect us. My pray from the Guinness shall prosper. As we start this service, guide us and protect us. No weapon from the Genesis shall prosper. Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Everybody shout amen at home. I've seen some of you, you are not saying amen. Say amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Uh, before we proceed our lesson today, last week we learned about fear and obedience. And we saw how uh, Caleb and Joshua were, uh, were of great encouragement to the children of Israel. And that one tells us that we should not fear and we should confront things because we have a mighty God with us. That was our lesson of last week's lesson. And today also the Lord has given us this time to learn something. Now that we don't fear, and now that we obey God, our lesson today is about worshiping the Lord. Worshiping the Lord. Uh, and it comes from the book of Psalm 95, verse 1 to 6. Psalm 95. Verse 1 to 6. And I could like Victoria to read for us Psalm 95, verse 1 to 6. Psalm 95, verse 1 to 6. Yes, Victoria. It says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout along to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thank, thankgiving and extol him with music and songs. Amen. Before we go further to our lesson, we could like to sing a short song. song. Are you ready at home to sing with me? The song is about worshiping the Lord. Here it goes. You are the Lord of creation, Lord of my life, Lord of the earth and the sea. We bow down and worship you, Lord. Now, here is the song. You're the Lord of creation and Lord of my life, Lord of the earth and the sea. You're the Lord of creation before there was none. Lord of all lords you will be. You're the Lord of creation and Lord of my life, Lord of the earth and the sea. You're the Lord of creation before there was none, Lord of all lords you will be. We bow down and we worship you, Lord, we bow down and we worship you, Lord. We bow down, 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 and we worship you, Lord. Lord of all lords, you will be. Hope you've gotten the song at home, and I want you to repeat after me as we sing, we sing together. 
Are you ready? Yes, let's go. You are the Lord of creation and Lord of my life, Lord of the earth and the sea. You are the Lord of creation before there was none. Lord of all lords, you will be. Let's go, Victoria. You are the Lord of creation and Lord of my life, Lord of the earth and the sea. You are the Lord of creation before there was none. Lord of all lords, you will be. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. We bow down, 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 and we worship you, Lord. Lord of all lords, you will be. Once more. You are the Lord of creation and Lord of my life. Lord of the heart and the sea, you are the Lord of creation before there was none. Lord of all lords, you will be. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. We bow down, 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 down and we worship you, Lord. Lord of all lords, you will be. Hope you've enjoyed the song. So as we have said, our topic is today is about worshipping God. And it comes from the book of Psalm 95, verse 1 to 6, as Victoria has just read. Uh, the Bible is saying that, come, let us worship the Lord with joy and thanksgiving in our hearts. I would like to give an, uh, uh, the, the, the explanation of the word worship. And before I give the explanation of the word worship, I just want to give uh, the, 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 I just want to, to spell that word for the young ones to write, because I said you have a pen and a Bible. The word worship is W-O-R-S-H-I-P, worship. Uh, if we sound it using the sounds we say, U for wall, O for orange, R for rat, S for sun, H for heart, E for ink, and the P for pot. I hope you've gotten that word, worship. When we speak of worship, what do we mean? We mean giving God all the honor and the glory because of his worthiness. God is worthy to be placed. According to the scripture we read, we are being invited, not one, all of us, children, our mummies, our daddies, our siblings, brothers and sisters, to come and worship. That's why the Bible is saying, come, let us worship the Lord. So worship is an invitation for all people to come and reverence God for who he is and what he has done for us. So what is to worship? To worship is giving God honor, is giving God reverence, is acknowledging God of being worthy to us. Uh, also, worshiping God is drawing near to him. What is drawing near to him? giving our lives full to him, just surrendering our lives to him because he is worthy. He is the maker. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is our creator as we have sung. 
is the creator of our lives. So we have been invited and called to come and worship the Lord because he is worthy to be praised. Uh, and I could like to ask a question. And this one I want to ask Fiki. Fiki, what have we said about worshiping the Lord? What does worshiping the Lord mean? It means when you want to know God well, you want to, to be pleasing the Lord, you want to be a good girl or a good boy. Yes. Amen. When you want to be a good girl or a good boy at home, when you give your heart to God, as you give your heart to those things that you like so much. I know most of you love eating the chocolate so much. So the same way you love eating that chocolate, the way you love the Lord. Also worshiping God is showing the gratitude of our hearts to him as the one and only God. Bigger than anything, mighty than anything, and we want to tell him that he is our God, our, the, the creator. So when we express the gratitude of our hearts to him, we worship the Lord. Are you getting it at home? Praise the Lord everywhere where you are. Yes, are you enjoying it? When you give your life to God, you show him the gratitude of your heart. You refer him to be the only one. You acknowledge him as the maker. You are worshiping him because he is mighty and able. So when you worship the Lord, you should have the following so that you worship the Lord effectively. Fiki, when one worships the Lord, he must have faith. He must have faith. He must have faith when he is worshiping God. Without faith, you cannot worship the Lord. Without faith, it is very impossible to worship the Lord. So one must have great faith so that he can worship God effectively, so that he can show the gratitude of his or her heart. Also, you have to commit yourself. As you commit yourself to studies, as you commit yourself to these other things of the world, as you commit yourself to your friends, also, you have to commit yourself to God by worshiping him and acknowledge him that he is God. Anytime you wake up, you take a moment and you worship him. You tell God you are bigger than anything. God, you are good. God, you are mighty. And God is so much pleased. During this time of pandemic, we've been in our houses, but the Lord has been so good to us. Isn't it, Vicky? Yes. What, one, what has the Lord done for you during this time? Like... Yes. Protected us. Yes. He has given us protection. We've not been attacked by the, 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 the coronavirus. We are well in him. So we have that reason of praising the Lord and worshiping him and say, God, thank you. So he is our God and savior. When the Lord becomes your savior, it means he has protected you from everything. People have been crying outside, but you, you've been kept of the Lord at home. Mommy and daddy has been able to feed you well. You have good health. Uh, you are about to go back to school. Others have gone back to school. Those are some of the good reasons to give him worship because there is no other God like him. So when we worship, we do the following. Victoria, when we worship, we don't just come and do and say we are worshiping. We do things to show God that we are worshiping him. One of the things, Victoria, we do is singing. Isn't it, Victoria? Yes. When we sing, we do what? We praise the Lord. 
So at home, when you sing, that is one way of worshiping the Lord. You worship the Lord through singing. What type of songs are you singing? Not another song, but the song of the Lord, the, lo the song of the Spirit, that the one, like the ones that we have just sung. God of creation and God of the earth, God of the earth and the sea, you are the Lord of creation before there was none, Lord of all lords you will be. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. Down, 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 and we worship you, Lord. Lord of all lords, you will be. So when you sing to him such a wonderful song, you worship the Lord. Another thing that we do when that shows that we are worshiping the Lord is when we seek God through prayers. Do you normally pray at home? Yes, tell me if you normally pray. Ama, you just play and you got tired, you just sleep without praying. The Bible is telling us that we worship God through prayer. So anytime you wake up, anytime you do your activity, remember to seek God through prayer. Anytime you feel you are sick, make sure you seek, you seek God through prayer. So when we worship God, we sing to him, we, 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 we sing to him, we seek his face through prayers. And I could like you to pray every day as one way of worshiping the Lord. Another thing when we worship the Lord, Fiki, we confess our sins. Many times we are found of wickedness, but God is telling us that let us come to him and confess our sins. Confession means speaking out the wrong you've done to him and he's able to, to remember you and even to wipe away your wickedness and you become a new creation. Victoria, we have said when we worship the Lord, we come to him through songs. Very good, Victoria. Another thing, Prayer, we seek him through prayer. And at home, what have we said? Yes, confession, we confess our sin. If we wrong our siblings, we go and tell them we are sorry. If we wrong our mommy, we say, mommy, I am sorry. And when we wrong God, we go to God and we tell him, God, we are very sorry, forgive our sins. Due to that, God is pleased. And we use confession as one form of worshiping the Lord. Also, another thing is reading the word of God. As we have read from Psalm 95, verse 1 to 6, that is one form of worshiping the Lord. So, as we worship the Lord, let us remember to read his word. After reading the word, we don't just leave it like that. We read the word, we memorize the word, and then we hold that word. Because there is power in reading the word of God. If you read the word of God and the Bible will tell you, I will be with you. I will not leave you, nor forsake you. So when you are in problems, you remember, this is what I read. I read the Lord is saying, I will be with you. I will not forsake you. So we worship God through reading the word of God and owning that word as ours. Also, another thing is by offering Giving our tithes and offerings is one way of worshiping the Lord. Praise the Lord at home. Do you normally give your offerings? We normally give you the pay bill number to give the offerings. So when you give, that is one way of worshiping the Lord. So you have worshiped the Lord through giving and even the offerings and even the tithes. When we give, God is very happy with us and we worship him through our giving. Another thing is when we fellowship together. When we come together in our class 
at home as you are seated like that, holding your Bible and your notebook, you are worshiping the Lord because you are obedient. You are listening from his word. So you are worshiping the Lord in a mighty way. Therefore, Victoria, when we are in fellowship, when we come together, when we sing with each other, we do what? We worship the Lord. We worship the Lord when we are together. We are looking forward for a time when we will come together and uh, share together in fellowship as one way of worshiping the Lord. When also we take the Lord's table, do you normally take the Lord's step at home? Yes, many times we encourage you, it is a Sunday of taking the Lord's table, and I know at home you normally do it with your parents. That is not an ordinary thing. It is one way of worshiping the Lord. So we worship the Lord when we uh, overtake that, the table, the blood, and the body of Jesus Christ. So due to that, our God is so much pleased when we worship him using all those things, the, the, the ways I have said. So uh, another thing that's, that we do when we worship the Lord, who can tell me another thing we do when we worship the Lord? Who can tell me, yes, at home I am seeing your hands? Yes, speak it loud, I am getting it. Ah, kneeling down, bowing our heads down. When we bow down, we worship the Lord. When we kneel down, we worship the Lord. So children at home, I could like to urge you that every moment you want to go to the Lord, just humble yourself, kneel down, and speak to the Lord through prayer. After praying, sing to him. After singing, seek for fellowship to he, with him. Due to that, you are giving him the reverence as the only God, the mighty one, and the great God in our lives. Therefore, children at home, uh, we should have faith, we commit ourselves to him, and acknowledge God as our mighty and able God. And before we wind up our lesson today, we have our memory first. Our memory first comes from the book of Psalm 95, verse 6. And Victoria is going to read for us Psalm 95, verse 6. It says, Yes. Let come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud. To the rock of our salvation, let us come before him with thanksgiving and a tall extol his with music and song. Amen. Our memory first says, as Victoria has read for us, come, let us bow down and worship the Lord. So, I want you to repeat after me. Psalm 95 verse 6. Psalm 95 verse 6. It says, it says, come. Let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before Lord, our maker, for he is our God. Psalm 95 verse 6, it says, Come, let us bow down in worship. Come, let us bow down in worship. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord. Let us kneel before the Lord. Let us kneel before the Lord. For he is our God. For he is our Lord. Once more, 
Psalm 95 verse 6, it says, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let, come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. And that is our memory verse for today. So the Bible is telling us, let us come and bow down before him in worship. Why? Because he is our maker. And before we wind up our lesson today, we could like to give our hoverlings and we use our PayPal number 601 601-777. When we say 777, it means 777. 601-777. And before we wind up, we could like to close our eyes and pray. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much because you are our maker and you are the creator of our lives. We exalt you, O King of glory, for our lesson today that you are inviting us to come and bow down in worship before you because you are our maker. O Lord, we exalt your name. O Lord, we embrace your word of coming to you and bowing down and worship you, for you are the only God. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you for every listener, the children who have listened to your word. May you bless them, O oh God. And because you are our God, my Father, you are also our healer. So whoever is feeling sick, my Father, I pray that may you heal them in the name of Jesus. Whoever who has any challenge, oh God, because you are our maker, may you minister to any challenge in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for our parents, bless them, oh God. We pray for our lives, bless us, oh Lord. We cover our lives by the blood of Jesus, and we say you are the Lord of creation, the maker of heaven and earth. We thank you, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shout amen at home. Amen. Until next week, I was, I was your host, Teacher Gladys, and Victoria Pendo Manyange. God bless you. Till next week. Bye. Victoria, tell them bye. bye. We love you so much. Amen.
Bitch.